Hi boys and girls, today we are going to talk about subject verb agreements and we're going to focus on two new rules. Now, to start off, if we are looking at the subject and the subject says either I or you, we do not add an S. So if it says I or you, we don't add an S. So here's the examples. I walk the dog. So I is the subject, walk is the verb. You don't have an S after it. You walk the dog. You is our subject. Walk is our verb. We do not have an S after it. So let's see if we can figure out this one. Our I is the subject. I've already underlined that for us. I put my key on a rock. I puts my key on a rock. For one thing, one of them definitely sounds right, and the other one, not so much. But if we follow our rule, put is our verb because it's an action. So would it make sense for me to have an S or no S depending on my rule? Well, my rule says if it starts with I or you, we don't have an S. So I put my key on a rock would be the correct answer. Now let's try another one. Same rule. You look nice in that dress. You looks nice in that dress. You is our subject. So what is our verb? Look is our verb. Okay, so if we look at both of our looks, if we follow our rule, there should be no S in our verb. So our first sentence, you look nice in that dress, would be correct. Now for our next rule, linking verbs. If you see these verbs, they're singular. Was, has, is, does, and am. All of those are singular, all right? But these are plural. <clears throat> Were, have, are, and do. Okay, so anytime you're talking about something that's plural, these are the words we need to use. If it's singular, these are the words we have to use. So let's go ahead and read our sentences. The fat cat is sleeping under the window. The fat cats are sleeping under the window. Well, I can tell you which one sounds right, but I definitely want to make sure it follows our rule. So I need to start off by figuring out what is my subject. Well, the subject in both of these sentences would be the fat cats. Wonderful. Now, we're looking at our linking verbs. So the linking verb in this sentence is is. And the linking verb in this sentence is are. Now we have to decide which one we're going to use. Which one do you see in singular or plural? If we're talking about the fat cats, that means we're talking about plural. So which one of these are we going to be using? Do you see one in either place? I see is is up here and are is down here. And since we're talking about something plural, are is the correct answer. Let's go on to the next one. We're going to try another one using the same rule. Ms. Smith are teaching her class. Ms. Smith is teaching her class. So I know that Ms. Smith is my subject. Okay. And that means I'm talking about singular. I'm talking about one person. So which is correct? Ms. Smith are teaching her class. Miss Smith is teaching her class. Is would be the correct answer because that linking verb is used when we're talking about singular. Let's do another one together. Here we go. I blank my key on a rock. We're going to review the two rules from today. When we have I and you, you don't add S and then the linking verbs, which ones we use for singular and which ones we use for plural. Hmm. I blank my key on a rock. Well, I'm using the word I as my subject. So if I do that, no S on my verb, I put my key on a rock. All right, now we have six questions we're gonna do together. I'd love it if you could try to figure them out before me. Here we go. Number one, she blank my friend is has or are.
is would be our correct answer. Number two, Kim and Tim blank friends. Was, is, or are. Are would be our correct answer. Number three, I blank reading. Am, are, is. Am is our correct answer. Number four, mom and I blank talking. Was, have, were. Were is our correct answer. Number five, dad and I blank fun at home. Are, has, had. Had would be the correct answer. That means it had, had means it's in the past. It's just a different form of have. Number six, my bike blank two wheels. Has, have, was. Has would be the correct answer. Great job, boys and girls.